welcome all of you to biol4u.com once again today i am going to explain the fate of pyruvic acid you know the pyruvic acid is the end product of the glycolysis so see here the glucose molecule is converted into glucose 6 phosphate by phosphorylation with the help of the atp glucose 6 phosphate isomerized into fructose 6 phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate once again phosphorylated to produce fructose 1 6 diphosphate okay and this fructose 1 6 diphosphate is cleaved into phosphoglyceraldehyde and dihydroxy acetone phosphate and these are isomers and the next stage only phosphoglyceraldehyde will enter so the dihydroxy acetone phosphate converting into phosphoglyceraldehyde and finally two molecule of the pyruvic acid is produced okay so this reaction taken place both in aerobic and anaerobic organisms equally and this stage of the respiration is taken place in the cytoplasm and is known as the glycolysis and the stage the different stages of this cycle discovered by three scientists and hence it is known as the emp pathway emden marrow and parnas pathway emp pathway okay so the final product of the uh, glycolysis is the pyruvic acid so what is the fate of this pyruvic acid after the formation of the pyruvic acid what happens to this pyruvic acid so there are three fate for the pyruvic acid so pyruvic acid uh, in the presence of the oxygen pyruvic acid in the presence of the oxygen it is undergoing complete oxidation in the presence of the oxygen complete oxidation and it is converted into carbon dioxide plus water molecule and along with energy will produce so that, so that is happening during the complete oxidation and this complete oxidation taken place in the mitochondria so this process taken place in the mitochondria so if mitochondria is available that is in the eukaryotic organisms this pyruvic acid is converted into carbon dioxide water and energy okay and this is the complete oxidation if oxygen is not available or mitochondria is absent especially in the case of the prokaryotic organisms then what happens in the absence of the oxygen so you know prokaryotic also aerobic and anaerobic organism so i am speaking only about the anaerobic organism that is in the absence of the oxygen what happens to this pyruvic acid in the absence of the oxygen this pyruvic acid undergoing fermentation a process that is known as the fermentation or it is known as the anaerobic respiration fermentation or uh, synonymously it is known as the anaerobic respiration or it is known as the anaerobic respiration because the absence of the oxygen so anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration consequently this in presence of the oxygen that is known as the aerobic respiration so anaerobic respiration in the presence of the oxygen it undergoing aerobic respiration and a complete oxidation of the uh, pyruvic acid and producing carbon dioxide water and energy a lot of energy will produce here and in the absence of the oxygen that is anaerobic respiration taken place or it is called fermentation and during the fermentation some product will form so according to the product formed this fermentation again classified into two types that is the alcoholic fermentation one type of the fermentation is the alcoholic fermentation because alcohol is the end product of the fermentation so it is known as the alcoholic fermentation so along with alcohol it also produces carbon dioxide so actually what happens the pyruvic acid in the absence of the oxygen undergoing reduction and producing the alcohol and this alcohol uh, uh, also contain alcohol along with alcohol uh, during the alcoholic fermentation it also produces carbon dioxide so the broth will form here or effervescence will form here due to the carbon dioxide formation and uh, in some cases uh, it is producing the lactic acid if milk is there it is producing the lactic acid in presence of the lactic lactobacillus bacteria lactic acid so in the presence of the lactobacillus bacteria the pyruvic acid undergoing lactic acid fermentation and the lactic acid will be the final product and here there is no carbon dioxide formation 
only two ATP molecules will be available in this lactic acid fermentation. Similarly, in the alcoholic fermentation, alcohol, ethyl alcohol is the end product along with the carbon dioxide and two ATP molecules will form. So this process is taken by in the prokaryote with the help of the prokaryotic organisms. So in the prokaryotic organism, this two ATP is sufficient for the metabolic activities. So in the prokaryotic organism, this pyruvic acid in the absence of the oxygen converting into al either alcohol, carbon dioxide and two ATP or lactic acid and two ATP without involvement of the evolution of the carbon dioxide. Okay, so let us explain the fermentation process in detail. So let us explain uh, what is actually the fermentation. Okay, so uh, pyruvic acid formed, this pyruvic acid undergoing anaerobic reaction and this anaerobic process is known as the fermentation. Okay, so according to the end product of fermentation may be alcoholic fermentation or it may be lactic acid fermentation okay so first uh, let us explain uh, the alcoholic fermentation okay alcoholic fermentation in alcoholic fermentation ethyl alcohol will form as an end product so it is known as the alcoholic fermentation okay so what happens during this alcoholic fermentation the pyruvic acid actually the starting point is the glucose and this glucose is converted into it is converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate glyceraldehyde phosphate okay and this glyceraldehyde phosphate uh, is converting into phosphoenol pyruvic acid so next glyceraldehyde phosphate is converting into 3 phosphoglyceric acid 3 phosphoglyceric acid and this 3 phosphoglyceric acid producing phosphoenol pyruvic acid okay so this phosphoenol pyruvic acid and this phosphoenol pyruvic acid undergoing uh, some reaction uh, that is a dephosphorylation reaction and it is producing the pyruvic acid so here the end product pyruvic acid is produced so what happens to this pyruvic acid during the alcoholic fermentation so here i will take uh, the stage from here phosphoenol pyruvic acid converted into pyruvic acid so what happens to this pyruvic acid so this pyruvic acid uh, during the alcoholic fermentation it undergoing uh, reduction and reduction is with the help of the NAD, NADH2 that already produced in the glycolysis. So this NADH, NADH it acting as a reducing agent and this reducing agent uh, undergoing uh, oxidation and producing the NAD okay and the hydrogen is used for the reduction of the pyruvic acid and as a result here uh, c2h5oh that means the ethyl alcohol will form along with ethyl alcohol uh, along with ethyl alcohol a molecule carbon dioxide also will form so this is the alcoholic fermentation so here <coughs> redox reaction is a uh, reoxidation uh, Reoxidized that is the NADH2 reoxidized to NAD and uh, alcohol uh, the, for the reduction hydrogen is used for the reduction of the uh, pyruvic acid to alcohol along with the carbon dioxide also formed. So the net profit here is 2 ATP molecule that already formed in the pyru uh, in the glycolysis. So that is the net profit energy profit 2 ATP molecule or sometimes uh, the pyruvic acid undergoing reduction with the help of the NADH formed in the glycolysis NADH okay and this hydrogen is utilized or the NADH undergoing reoxidation and it is producing the NAD and hydrogen used for the uh, reduction of the uh, pyruvic acid and the end product is the lactic acid so here the difference uh, carbon dioxide is uh, not formed here but uh, the end uh, profit is again 2 ATP molecule that is already produced in the glycolysis. Okay, so this is the lactic acid fermentation and this is known as the alcoholic fermentation. So that is the fate of the uh, pyruvic acid after the glycolysis. Otherwise, uh, this pyruvic acid undergoing complete oxidation and uh, producing carbon dioxide water and a lot of energy 38 ATP molecule will produce okay so here you see here in this process 
uh, by this fermentation process the alcohol if you consider the alcohol only 7 percentage of the alcohol will produce or maximum 13 percentage alcohol will form by this fermentation process okay so by using this fermentation process we cannot produce synthesizer alcohol more than 13 percentage okay but there are so many alcoholic beverages it is containing more than 60 percentage alcohol is there then how we can produce by the fermentation process alcoholic product or the beverage that is containing greater than 60 percentage alcohol so by this method it is not possible it is possible only up to 13 per 7 to 13 percent alcohol can be produced by this fermentation and if the percentage of the alcohol become more than 13 percent what happens the bacteria you utilized or the bacteria used for this fermentation reaction that will die or the death of this bacteria or it badly affecting the bacteria that is causing this fermentation so more than 13 percent means that is a detrimental to the bacteria that is that is causing the death of the bacteria so naturally the percentage cannot increasing 13 percentage but we producing the alcoholic beverage more than uh, 60 percentage or more than that so how it is possible that so for producing the alcohol greater than 60 percentage the only possibility is that this product must be uh, subjected for the double uh, distillation so if a distillation process is using the alcoholic percentage can be increased more than 13 percentage okay so in aero uh, in the anaerobic reaction the alcoholic fermentation if you want to increase the alcoholic percentage greater than 13 percentage uh, here the method that is a purification method that is a distillation process must be employed and if distillation process uh, employ you can increase the process increase the percentage of the alcohol more than 13 percent otherwise uh, the alcoholic percentage will remaining between 7 percent to 13 percentage okay so that is the alcoholic fermentation and lactic acid fermentation.